Okay, let's quickly continue with the barn pass modulator. Barn pass modulator. Of course, it can do more than just creating a barn pass signal. So, barn pass modulator continued. So the bandpass modulator, so the primary task primary task is what I've explained in the previous slide that so that's our bandpass modulator that it's creating this band limited signal here. So that's our bandwidth. And this is here our signal. So that's frequency. And the input was our baseband. So now there are additional tricks and tweaks which we can do. So, for example, if you want to increase the privacy of the signal, Or we would like to share the bandwidth. With um, other participants of this channel. And then the um, solution to this is, so let's say this is a secondary task. And strictly speaking, speaking not the modulator, but is done somewhere before or after this, is um, employ a so-called spread spectrum technique. So this is done in the way that, again, so that's our baseband here. So that's our baseband. That this baseband is modified before we send this in the actual band pass modulator. Usually mixed with a special signal here. And um, And then this one is here sent into our band pass modulator. And with that we are um, getting a wider spectrum. And this then allows to share this bandwidth with other participants. So I don't go into detail here, but the crucial point is this signal here, which is usually something like a pseudo-random sequence or another sequence which is which is essentially widening the bandwidth of this baseband here and then creating a wider bandwidth. At the same time we could also also modify it here on the on the output here and um, increase the bandwidth. Um, but without going uh, much into detail, the idea is that we're using a wider bandwidth and um, with this wider bandwidth we are able to um, share basically this, this resulting channel with other participants and um, the other idea is also to increase privacy because this sounds and more like noise what's coming out here.